When Ron's sister Judy died, he worked through his grief to arrange a respectful farewell. Then council got involved and government red tape turned Judy's goodbye into frustration and anger for her family. Losing a loved one is hard enough. I was there for her, she was there for me. Without having to battle with a council to bury them. Council decided in all their glory that at the 3 p.m. on the Tuesday, the day before the funeral at 10 a.m. on the Wednesday, we will cancel the funeral. Ron's sister, Judy, died in early August from health problems. She was 62 years old and extremely loved. Among those Judy left behind, her son Alan, who lives with an intellectual disability, and her brother Ron. They all live together south of Sydney. How would you describe Judy? Who was she as a person? The people across the road, they used to love coming over here to pat the dogs and to see Judy. <laughs> oh, that's really sweet. Because they knew they were going to get an ice block or a lolly or whatever Judy had there, she gave them. Ron says he thought losing his sister would be the hardest time in his life. But it became even more difficult after a phone call from Shell Harbour City Council. It wasn't anything sympathetic there at all. She's very interested. We haven't received the money, so we're sorry. We're cancelling the funeral. Ron was liaising with two government agencies to get payment to council for the burial, two levels of bureaucracy to navigate while trying to organise a funeral. The hardest part, though, was breaking the news to Alan, who Ron now cares for. I had to try and explain it to Alan. He's got a brain of about a 12-year-old boy. Hey, mate, you can't go and see your mum tomorrow to pay your final goodbye to her. because council has cancelled the funeral. And his exact words was, so I can't say, go, go and say goodbye to mum. He was in tears. I had to get his support worker over to help me, calm him down. It was hard, it was hard for me. Alan says he's been struggling to cope since losing his mum. Upset and uh, when, when my uncle told me I was nearly in tears. For legal reasons, we can't name the state agency. But what we can tell you is this was a bill that was never going to go unpaid. This was a matter of red tape. One government organisation waiting for a simple sign-off from a government agency. Shell Harbour City Council wouldn't go on camera, telling a current affair via email it was unable to grant interment rights, which are legally required before a burial because the fee hadn't been paid. Ron believes the issues could have been worked out if they'd simply talk to each other and cancelling was cruel. The agency doesn't comment on individual cases, but said to a current affair, requests for payment to third parties must be supported by relevant documentation, including a tax invoice. A red tape debacle, you can see why Ron was confused. What do you have to say to the council? Do you, do you feel that it's been heartless? Yes, very disrespectful. Disgraceful, in fact. They don't mongrels to do that to any family in this sort of situation. A day after the funeral should have gone ahead, confirmation came through from the New South Wales Agency. And when I got home, I was cried. I was a wreck. A week later, Judy's funeral was held. It was nice and short. But it's a very happy time to sit down and celebrate her life. But the stress will stay with Ron and Alan. Ron, you say you don't want compensation from the council. What do you want? All you want is to bury your loved one and let them rest in peace. Judy couldn't do that. You know, there's people out there battling their everyday, everyday needs. They're not paying for a funeral. Then for council to go and do that to you, it's pretty low. Yeah, it's very cruel. And for the record, Ron and Alan did eventually get that apology.